Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how Newbase classifier is used for spam classification with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given six documents. Out of six documents, uh, first four documents are spam documents. Remaining two are non-spam documents. Given this uh, training data, we need to apply the Newbase classifier and then we need to classify the new examples. In this case, we have been given uh, two new examples into one of the classes that is either spam or non-spam in this case now coming back to the new base classifier uh, the equation for new base classifier looks something like this uh, new example x will be classified into one of the two classes with the help of uh, this equation that is probability of y given x uh, for all uh, y we need to calculate it that is y is nothing but uh, all the possible uh, classes here in this case one class is spam another one is uh, non-spam that is nothing but the probability of a spam given new example probability of non-spam given new example we need to calculate and the one which will give you the maximum answer that will be the final hypothesis in this case now uh, we need to uh, simplify this uh, uh, equation that is probability of y given x which is equal to probability of x given y multiplied by probability of y here again this new example whatever i said x uh, may contain multiple number of words here so for each word we need to calculate this uh, probability that is probability of first word given y probability of second word given y probability of third word given y and so on and all those probabilities we need to multiply here that's the reason we have taken this uh, multiplication in this case and d is nothing but the number of examples over here so in this case x is the new example to be classified and d is the number of uh, words in that particular new example in the first case, uh, review us now. This is the new example. Uh, here, D is equal to 3 because 3 words are there. In the second example, we have only 2 words. Hence, D is equal to 2 over here. Now, uh, we will apply this uh, new base classifier equation on the new example. And then, we will try to classify the new example into one of the class. Here, uh, uh, this is the data given to us. Uh, before we apply new base classifier again, uh, there is one more step we need to perform. That is, uh, we need to convert this uh, given document into bag of words. That is nothing but uh, we need to count uh, how many number of uh, unique words are there in each and every class here. First, we need to list uh, unique words. Uh, in this case, you can see here send is the one unique word, us, your, all these things are the unique words here. Once you list out all these unique words, the next one is to uh, count the number of times each word is appearing in each class. For example, send, it is appearing in one time in spam, second time here and third time here. So send is appearing three times in spam. So that is what I have written here. Similarly, send is appearing one time in non-spam. So that's the reason I have written one here. Similarly, if you consider this particular your word, your is appearing one times here, second time here and third time here. So three times it is appearing in spam document and it is appearing one time in non-spam document. So that's the reason I have written one here. Similarly, we need to perform the same operation for all the possible words in this case. And then you need to count how many number of words are there in the spam, how many number of words are there in non-spam documents here. Now, once you convert your uh, data or the document into bag of words, next uh, we can apply the Navis classifier and classify the new example into one of the class. First, we need to calculate the class probabilities. That is, probability of uh, spam is equal to. Uh, there are totally six documents are there. Out of that, uh, four are uh, spam documents. Hence, four divided by six here. Probability of non-spam is equal to. Uh, there are two non-spam documents are there. Out of six, it is two by six here. Now, once you calculate probability of spam and probability of uh, non-spam, the next question is uh, to classify the new example into one of the class. So, first I will consider the first new example that is x is equal to review us now. In this case, uh, there are three words are there, but this uh, new now word is not present in the vocabulary. So, we remove this particular now word. We will consider only review and us here. So, whenever we get a new example, we need to uh, solve two things. That is the probability of uh, uh, yes given uh, uh, x here here s is nothing but a spam probability of spam given x we need to calculate and then probability of non-spam given x we need to calculate that is what the new base classifier says and then uh, we need to compare these probabilities based on that we can make a decision here now the question comes in front of us how to solve these two equations so probability of spam given x is equal to probability of x given spam probability of spam here so probability of spam is known to us. There is no question about it. This is what is not known to us. That is probability of x given is. As said earlier, this x may contain multiple number of words. So we need to expand it something like this. Probability of first word given spam. 
probability of second word given spam and last one is probability of spam here so first word is review so probability of review given is probability of uh, us given is probability of spam in this case now uh, we need to calculate the probability of a review given is a review given spam here so review word is present here it is appearing one time in uh, spam uh, documents so one divided by total number of words that is 13 so one divided by 13 is probability of a review given spam here probability of us given spam us is present three times in uh, a spam document so it is 3 divided by 13 and the probability of s is equal to 4 by 6 here and once you put all these values and solve it you will get probability of spam given is x is equal to 0 0.012 here similarly we need to calculate probability of non-spam given x probability of non-spam given x is equal to probability of x given non-spam probability of non-spam here again we need to expand it x may contain multiple number of words first one is review second one is yes here now we need to consider the values from non-spam here. Review is appearing two times here, out of six, that is two by six. Us is appearing one time, one by six. Probability of non-spam is equal to two by six. Once you solve this equation, you will get 0 0.0185 as the probability of non-spam given new example here. Once you compare these two things, the probability of non-spam given X is more than probability of spam given x here the meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as non-spam in this case now we will consider the next example that is uh, x is equal to review account here uh, again we need to calculate probability of spam given a new example probability of non-spam given new example probability of spam given new example is the probability of uh, x given spam probability of yes in this case there are two words are there again so x will be replaced by review one time and account second time now if you notice here as i said earlier uh, account is appearing only in spam document it is not present on the non-spam here so when you consider non-spam uh, conditional probability it will become zero in that case i am talking so zero multiplied by anything will become zero in uh, non-spam document so that will become a zero probability issue in new base classifier so that's the reason we need to consider one add uh, smoothing technique here that is nothing but probability of review given spam is known to us that is uh, review is appearing one time out of 13 here so 1 divided by 13 because uh, we are applying a one add smoothing technique we need to add one on the numerator and the number of documents on the denominator here so one is added here the number of documents are six here so 13 plus 6 on the denominator in this case similarly for account account is appearing one time out of 13 so one is present here out of 13 one is added on the numerator number of documents on the denominator here and 4 by 6 is the probability of spam we will get 0 0.00738 in this case now coming back to the next one probability of non-spam given x uh, again we need to uh, expand this equation probability of review given non-spam probability of account given non-spam probability of non-spam again it is known to us only thing is these two are not known to us probability of review given non-spam is review is appearing two times out of six here so numerator side 2 by 6 is present that's true uh, but uh, on the numerator we need to add one here and denominator number of documents here because we are applying one add smoothing in this case now coming back to this uh, uh, account when you come to this account there are zero number of times it is appearing non-spam so zero divided by total six here that is what i said zero divided by six will become zero zero multiplied by anything will become zero here that is a zero probability issue so over that what we are doing we are adding one on the numerator side and number of documents on the denominator here and uh, probability of non spam is 2 by 6 which is equal to 0 0.00694 in this case now once you compare these two things uh, probability of spam given x is more here the meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as spam in this case i hope the concept of uh, neighbors classifier is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching